We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with TRK stock continuing to fight to hold support here above the 323.40 area. And it wasn't the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot at 1045 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. From that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 500% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see, they're popping up within the screen. Within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so here we are with trk stock continuing to try to hold this staircase effect here within the charts and we need to talk about what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 9 35 a.m and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with TRK stock doing a full transition from the dip area of white red borders to the rip area of bright green bars on Thursday and Friday pre-market. And now it's done a full transition back down towards red bars. And the last piece missing, if this were to continue downwards, is white red borders, as I call the dip area on 42 vision now if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with trk stock under a bear indicator poppy up here at around 372 area and outflows crossing back over to the downside and starting to dominate guys and this is going to be crucial and critical here because there's still a staircase effect here so far and it hasn't retraced all the way back down but it is something to not ignore here that outflows are dominating again and crossing back over after that inflow crossover on thursday and that bull indicator from around 270 area going all the way up to highs here of four dollars and in the pre-market on friday at 436 it's gonna be crucial and critical to keep in mind that if these outflows continue lower it could quickly start to reflect that weakness even further into these charts with outflows dominating bear indicator and the last piece missing as i stated earlier for a full transition down to the dip area is why we're fred borders following those red bars now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to pick back up here on the 30 minute but not just that also on the one hour 
we want these inflows to pick back up guys they've crossed over no bear indicator just yet this bull indicator is still in effect from 283 area and a staircase effect is still here in play not guaranteed though because it has to hold support and outflows are dominating again but no bear indicator to cancel this bull indicator out just yet so that bull indicator is still strong there even though these transitions have happened down towards red bars and outflows have crossed it's going to be crucial and critical to justify any further strength from this bull indicator to the upside and retest of resistance levels for these inflows to switch from red to green cross back over the midpoint and continue pushing up higher right and here we are in the volatility as well on the 15 minute with the outflows trying to pick back up and a bull indicator popping up here at around the 350 area even though it's slightly below it right now in the after hours at the time of this recording you could see here a bull indicator popping up and canceling out this bear indicator from around the 390 area even though those outflows crossed over and dominated all day a full transition has happened from the rip area to the dip area in the volatility here of the 15 minute chart and inflows are really close to the midpoint here and this is going to be critical and crucial to not ignore going into next week as it tries to either rip right through it and start that strength again and hold true this bull indicator or reject it even further down and that's what we're going to talk about here the key levels i would watch going into monday so the first thing is support guys the first support level i would watch is the low of day here at around the 330 area and if these outflows continue even lower and they go ahead and pull back on the 15 minute away from the midpoint even lower and cancel out this bull indicator and continue even lower to reflect that strength of weakness into these charts to the downside the next support below 330 that i would watch is then the three dollar area and then below that is where the bull indicator popped up at around the 280 to 270 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the downside to the upside it's going to be critical and crucial for these inflows to try to pick back up here from red to green and go back over that midpoint here as this bull indicator is still in effect here on the one hour and continue that staircase effect if possible as it starts to reverse and continue that strength that's going to be crucial on the one hour charts in the bigger picture and if we zoom into the 15 minute those inflows are really close guys and i would not ignore the fact that they're green and trying to push back up guys if it could cross over it could quickly start to reflect that strength into these charts to retest key resistance levels and it'll be crucial for that 15 minute strength to roll over to the 30 minute to switch from red to green get back over that midpoint and continue to reflect that strength into these charts and eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator well the first resistance would be the highs in the pre-market that rejected three times up here the highest point was 434 but to be exact down here that 420 area was crucial and critical three rejections in the pre-market and then above that based off the history of the chart when we zoom out the next resistance is up at the 450 area and then where that last bear indicator popped up where the weakness continued for several days is back up here at around the 480 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside these inflow versus outflows are going to be crucial and critical i'll be watching them as they're really near the midpoint here on the 30 minute and on the 15 minute they're green and trying to come back up and it's going to be crucial and critical for it to cross back over to start to reflect that strength pretty quickly into these charts and possibly roll over that strength into the 30 minute and go from red to green and back over as well to eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator so that's why these inflow versus outflows where they're currently at are going to be crucial and critical i'll be watching them carefully going into monday as well as these bull and bear indicators within the volatility as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money